So this screencast is going over step two in lesson 11.4. You should have already either read pages 28 to 31 in Borrowing Basics or watched the screencast while you read. The second step here is we're reading an article about predatory lending practices at a car dealership. Let's read it together. This is from Charlotte, North Carolina. Two Charlotte used car dealerships agree to settle predatory lending lawsuit. Two Charlotte used vehicle dealerships have reached a settlement in a predatory lending case the federal government calls its first ever discrimination lawsuit involving the buy here, pay here auto lending. On Tuesday, the United States Department of Justice, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of North Carolina, and the North Carolina Department of Justice announced the settlement of the lawsuit filed in January 2014 against Auto Fair and Southeastern Auto Corps. The lawsuit claimed the two Wilkinson Boulevard dealerships and their operator charged inflated prices to African American customers and offered them predatory terms from 2006 to at least 2011. This settlement, subject to court approval, requires the dealerships to make a variety of changes to their business practices, including putting limits on projected monthly payments, prohibiting hidden fees, and disclosing whether a vehicle equipped with GPS service devices the dealerships can use to locate vehicles for repossession. To compensate victims, the settlement also requires the dealerships to establish a $2,225 fund. It is not only illegal, but also fundamentally wrong to target borrowers of color for predatory loans and exploit their need for a car to do essential tasks such as getting to work. Vanita Gupta, Acting Assistant Attorney General for the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division, said in a statement, Gupta said that the, the dealerships have agreed to reform problematic lending and servicing practices and adopt policies that promote responsible lending. In their lawsuit, the Justice Department and the state of North Carolina alleged that Auto Fair and Southeastern Auto Corps and their owner, Zuti A. Sade, violated the Federal Equal Credit Opportunity Act through a pattern of reverse redlining. The dealerships intentionally targeted black customers who were subjected to unfair and predatory credit practices as they sought to buy used vehicles, the lawsuit claimed. The state also alleged that the dealerships violated the state's Unfair and Deceptive Trade Practices Act. In reaching the settlement, the dealerships vehemently deny the allegations of discrimination or predatory conduct according to James Wyatt an attorney for dealerships in Sade. The dealerships have never engaged in that kind of conduct and resolved this lawsuit because they balanced immense costs of litigating it against the settlement with no admission of any improper conduct, Wyatt told the Observer. This case could have taken years and hundreds of thousands of dollars to litigate, and that was a major consideration in resolving the matter. Wyatt said his clients were confident they would have prevailed in trial. He also said that the dealerships have been in business for more than 18 years and that many of the requirements in the settlement are business practices they have already been doing for years and years. Government officials said that Tuesday that the settlement came after the court denied the dealership's motion to dismiss the case. All consumers deserve to be treated fairly when they buy a car, North Carolina Attorney General Roy Cooper said in a statement. We hope this case sends a strong message that car dealers cannot use race when targeting buyers with overpriced cars and possess oppressive loans. So now that we've read this article, you're going to go back to today's lesson, and you're going to see, click, respond to this discussion board post. Click on that link. Today you're going to be answering the following two questions using complete sentences. Who did these car dealerships target in their lending practices and what were the results? Can't wait to see your responses. If you need help at any time, don't hesitate to contact me.